Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Scott, and today we are painting the Hephaestion, which is a new monster model for the City States Army in Conquest The Last Argument of Kings. It's probably one of the coolest monsters I've ever painted, so let's go ahead and dive into how I did it. Before we can paint this model, we're going to prime it using Ultra Matte Black Paint Plus Primer from rust -Oleum. but you could use any black primer that you want. We're going to start this project off by painting all of the skin on the model using Jokero Orange as our base color. Once we're happy with that base coat, we're going to take Reikland Flesh Shade and we're going to do a heavy wash of this over all of the skin on the model. Once that shade is dried, we're going to take Kidian Flesh Tone and we're going to begin using this like a glaze and layering this over all of the raised surfaces and ridges of the muscles across the model. We're then going to take a mixture of Cadian Flesh Tone and Kislev Flesh, and we're going to start gradually doing multiple layers over the raised ridges of the muscle, with each layer adding slightly more Kislev Flesh than the previous. With the skin all done, we're going to take Wild Rider Red, and we're going to use this as the base color for all of the fire and molten rock on the model. Next we're going to take Troll Slayer Orange, and we're going to layer this over the fire on the model, beginning at the base of the flames, but not extending all the way to the top. We're going to do the same thing using Averlin Sunset, once again beginning at the base of the flames, but not extending all the way up to the top. With those base colors in place, we're going to take Cassandora Yellow and we're going to wash this over all of the flames that we've done in the previous few steps. Now that we're finished with the fire, we're going to take Abaddon Black and we're going to paint all of the rocks on the arm using this color. After we finished up with the black, we're going to take Skaven Blight Dinge and we're going to dry brush this over all of the black stone on the model. It's time to start working on the clothing on the model. We're going to take a mixture of one part Stegadon Scale Green to two parts Cabalite Green and we're going to use this as the base color for all the clothing on the model. We're going to shade all of the clothing using Coelia Green Shade. You don't want to go too heavy here as it will darken down the clothing quite a bit. Once that shade is dried, we're going to take Cabalite Green and we're going to begin layering this over all of the wrinkles and raised ridges on the clothing. Our next step is to take Cyberite Green, and we're going to use this to edge highlight all of the sharpest edges on the clothing on this model. Now this particular model is wearing a leather apron, and we're going to use Rhinox Hide as the base color and paint that apron, but we're not going to paint the other leather straps in the same color. We're going to paint the rest of the leather on the model using Leather Brown from Vallejo. Our next step is to take Balthazar Gold and we're going to use this as the base color for the harness that his stone arm connects to. We're also going to use this as the base color for the tip of the trident. Now we're going to take Agrax Earthshade and we're going to use this to wash the leather on the model as well as that copper color we used in the last step.
Once that shade is dried, we're going to take Carax Stone and we're going to dry brush this over the dark brown leather on the model. We're also going to use this to manually edge highlight all the leather straps. Now we're going to take copper from Pro Acryl and we're going to layer this over the harness and the tip of the trident. It's time to start working on the armor. We're going to take Lead Belcher and we're going to use this as the base color for the scale mail and the plate armor. With that base color in place, we're going to take Contrast Basiliconum Gray and we're going to use this to wash all of the armor on the model. Once we've allowed that contrast paint to dry, we're going to take Iron Breaker and we're going to start layering this over all the armor. Now, any spots where the contrast paint has pulled up, we're going to leave that darker and not paint this color over those spots. Our final step in this project is to take Stormhost Silver, and we're going to use this color to add scratches and highlight any indents that are on the armor of the model. And with that, we finished painting the Hephaestion. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, go ahead and like it, and then subscribe to my channel so you can see future videos I make. I'd like to give a special shout out to my channel members that make videos like this possible. If you would like to become a channel member, hit the join button below this video, and you can gain access to exclusive perks such as a members only discord where you can chat directly with me whenever you'd like. As always, have an amazing day, and we'll catch you in the next one.